I'm Rosanna Smith, and this is Solar 60. I'm here at Astrotech Space Operations Clean Room, where mechanical technicians just completed installing the flight solar array panels. With me is Gordon Maas, the lead mechanical engineer for Parker Solar Probe's solar arrays. Gordon, what's different about this spacecraft's solar arrays? This mission is unique. Parker Solar Probe is flying closer to the sun than any man-made object before it. Right after launch, we need all of the raised solar cells exposed to the sun's energy. But as we fly closer to the sun, we only need a small portion of the arrays exposed. The solar arrays are mounted on boom arms, which have motors. One motor to move it up and down from its stowed downward position to its full out position. A second motor rotates the array clockwise or counterclockwise to keep it facing the sun. If heat is a problem, how do we keep the arrays cool? Right. A normal solar array would overheat as we get close to the sun. To fix this problem, we designed a solar array cooling system, or SACS, which uses circulating water and radiators, just like most cars' engines, to keep the solar array cool and operational during flight. Thanks, Gordon. That's it from the Clean Room at Astrotech. I'm Rosanna Smith, and this is Solar 60.